The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, Camtel, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this new session. I am Diane Chukokam Rowling, your Form 1 chemistry teacher. We are still on the topic, matter, properties, and transformation. And under the subtopic, action of heat or substances. In the previous lesson, we ended the lesson by giving an assignment. And let us correct the assignment of the previous lesson. The first question was, sell me smells badly because bacteria have formed new substances in the milk. This is an example of, we're supposed to complete, and when you read back the question, you see, bacteria have formed new substances, this word is very important, new substances, and since new substances are being formed, the answer is a chemical change, because new substances are formed. We said a physical change is a change in which no new substances are being formed. Why a chemical change is that change in which new substances are formed. So in this case, since we have new substances which are being formed, we have a chemical change. The second question, the change of state of matter is an example of, it means if you have a solid, you change it to a liquid, and from the liquid, you change it to a gas. It's an example of what? It's an example of a physical change. Why? Because I'll take an example. When you remove water, that is water in the solid state as ice, in the solid state, when you allow it, it changes to liquid water, which is still water, the chemical composition has not changed. And when the temperature is increased again, our liquid water changes to steam, which is water in the gaseous state, which is still water, so the chemical composition has not changed. So change of state of matter is an example of a physical change. The third question, the burning of charcoal on the grill is an example of a chemical change because new substances will be formed. When you burn charcoal, you have patches. It's not more the charcoal. So new substances are being formed. The third question was, which of the following is an example of a chemical change? Water freezing. You see that when you take water, when it is freezing to change to liquid, it is still water. So it is an example of a physical change. Match burning, when you burn the matches, new substances are formed. It is an example of a chemical change. Dew on grasses, which is still a deposition, which is still water, is an example of a physical change. Magnetizing a nail 
If we still have the name, we are still only changing the post. There, it is an example of a physical change as well. And we still record the difference between a physical and a chemical. A physical, no new substances are formed. A chemical, new substances are being formed. The fifth task was, you are provided with 21 small round balls. Arrange them to form a triangle. And also, what do you observe? So if you count them, you will have 21 small balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have 21 balls there, arranged in a triangle. What do you observe? You observe that in between a ball and the next one, there is a small space. And in between each ball, you see, in between these four balls, there is a space in the middle. Just to tell you that when Particles that made up matter are arranged. We have spaces between, if there are atoms, we have spaces between the atoms. If there are molecules, we have spaces between molecules. After arranging the balls, it is observed that there are spaces between the balls. This confirms the point that Particle have space between them. We are done with this topic that is action of heat of substances. And today we are going to have integration activity on this subtopic too, which is action of heat of substances. Our lesson 12 will be unfold as follows. We shall begin with the objectives, the prerequisite, knowledge, a life situation, an activity, revision of topic two, action of heat of substances, evaluation, assignment, and lastly, references. By the end of this subtopic, let us should be able to answer possible questions presented in order to better understand the subtopic action of heat of substances. Bring out your worries to be solved based on the previous lessons. To effectively understand this integration activity, you are supposed to have basic knowledge on definition of matter, which we saw in previous lesson. Explain or give examples of matter in their different states. The process involved in change of states of matter. The changes that matter undergoes, is it a physical or a chemical change? The simple kinetic theory. How to explain the change of matter based on this simple kinetic theory? Let us pay attention to this, our life situation. Mary, a Form 1 student, was asked to cook jello rice after school. She had to use grind tomatoes and meat that had been kept in the freezer over the weekend. What you advise Mary to do, what would you advise Mary to do so as to get the tomato and the meat ready for cooking? That is the first question. During the cooking of jell of rice, different substances in the pot exist in different forms. Some are interchangeable and others not. Bring out the different forms 
and the changes and explain them using the knowledge of action of heat on substances. At the end of this integration activity, we are going to revisit this life situation. As activity, we have images presented to us from A, B, C, so A, water, B, soap, C, granite and paintings. We have kerosene here, we have chocolate, we have rice, we have beans, and so on. We have H, I, J, K, Coca-Cola, and we have spirit also, we have urine, and we have truck gas, that's carbon dioxide, a fire extinguisher. The first task is, from the images, identify the states of the substances A to N. And secondly, when substance A is heated, it changes its state. Identify the new substance. The next one we have, you are provided with the following images. We have unripe and ripe banana. We have melting of ice cream, this one. We have a kettle in which we heat it and we can see a gas is being given off. And we have the burning of a candle. And the task is identify the type of change taking place with the substances in the images. And thirdly, when substance A is exposed, it changes its state. Identify the process that occurs in the change of state. Identify also the type of change. Solution to this activity from image, from the images, identify the state of the substance A to N. A there, which was water, is a liquid. If you revisit, B is a solid, C is solid, D a liquid in a gallon, E is solid, F is solid, J is solid, H is solid, I is solid, J is solid, K a liquid, L a liquid, M a liquid, and N a gas. When solid A, we said solid A is water, is heated, it changes its state. When you heat water, it will change to be state. Obviously, since the liquid, when you provide heat, it will change to a gas. When substance A is exposed, it changes its state. Let us go back to our substance E. That is substance in, which is chocolate. So when our chocolate, which is a solid, is heated, it will change to a liquid. And this process is referred to as melting or fusion. You are melting the solid chocolate. The next one was identify the type of change taking place with the substance in the images. And we had these images for the first task. We have unripe and ripe banana. So when it's changing from unripe to ripe banana, it is an example of which type of change. When you are also melting ice, when you are heating a kettle or burning of candle. So as answers, you will clearly see that when you have a unripe banana change to a ripe, it is a chemical change because new substances are formed. The ice, the melting of the ice cream, a, chemical, a physical change because no new substances are formed. And C, a physical change in which we have water in a kettle or a substance in a kettle which is being heated. And D, we have burning of candle. We said the burning of candle can be a chemical and a physical change. And we said the chemical change is when the wick inside is burning in which it will produce new substances. And the physical change is the melting of the wax. Let us answer this question together. The first question is, all the stuff in the universe 
is made up of? It's supposed to put the answer. Secondly, matter comes in three basic forms called dash, dash, and dash. The third question is, in what state do we buy kerosene and be comfortable? The fourth question, what does it take to make things change their state? The fifth question is, plasma is another state of matter, true or false? The next question is, describe how energy must change in order to make the following change of state. The liquid to gas. Is energy released or absorbed? B, liquid to solid, is energy released or absorbed? The next question is, in which states of matter do particles move easily? And question eight, in which state of matter do the molecule move less easily than slowly? The next question is to show how the particles are arranged in the following states. So you have boxes you're supposed to draw here. The solid particles, you draw how they are arranged. The liquid here and the gas. The next question is use the diagram below to answer the following questions on change of state. So here, yeah, you are supposed to identify the state X and the process R, S, and T, in which we saw it in previous lessons. So you're supposed to observe, first identify the state X, and next, the processes R, S, and T. The next question is, give the differences between boiling and evaporation, and B, gas and liquid state. Question 12, state the simple kinetic theory of matter. State the simple kinetic theory of matter. And question 13, how do you make to convert ice to liquid, then to vapor, describe the change of state that occurred. If you pay attention to the questions, let us answer this question step by step, that's one by one. We start with the first question, which is, all the stuffs in the universe is made up of so all the stuffs in the universe, they are made up of what? They are made up of parts of matter. That is why in the definition of matter, we say that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. So all stuffs in the universe are made up of matter. Matter comes in three basic forms, which are called what? The solid, these forms are also the state. The solid, the liquid, and the gaseous state. The third question is, in which state do we buy kerosene? Obviously, the answer is in the liquid state. When you go to the petroleum filling station, you want to have kerosene there. The kerosene there is in the liquid state. The comfort that you put in your dresses to protect them from cockroaches, when you buy it in the market, it comes in the solid state. The fourth question is, what does it take to make things change the state? We said we, it is possible to live from one state to another. It is possible to live from the solid to the liquid, from the liquid to the gas. 
and vice versa. You can also live from the gas to the liquid, from the liquid to the solid. And therefore, what does it take? To, to do this, you need what we call heat or energy to change from one state to another. Either it can occur by heating or it can also occur by cooling. But in any case, we need heat. Either heat is absorbed or heat is released. The fifth question is, plasma is another state of matter, true or false? And the answer there is true. We are not going to lay so much emphasis on this because in higher classes, we are going to talk about plasma as a state of matter. The second question is, describe how energy must change in order to make the following change of state. Liquid to gas. We have the liquid in which the particles are held by weak forces. And we have the gas in which the particles are held by very weak forces. So if you want to change from the liquid to that gas, you need to provide heat to the liquid so that the particles should vibrate and they can escape to the gaseous state. So energy is needed. Energy is absorbed when you want to change your liquid water to steam. That is what you do when you want to boil water. You put it on the fire to show that energy is absorbed. It is absorbed. The next one, liquid to solid. Liquid in which I heard by report, solid which are held by very strong forces. And you, we saw that this process occurred by what? By cooling. It means that here, yeah, heat is taken away, or heat is taken away from the liquid to have the solid. In the first case, heat is given to the liquid to have the gas. In solid to liquid, heat is taken away from the liquid to have the solid, so that the particle can stick together more and therefore form the solid state. Question seven, in which state of matter do the particle move easily? Obviously, the gaseous state. We saw that in the gaseous state, the atoms are free to move. They move randomly and with high kinetic energy. Question eight, in which state of matter do the molecule move slowly? Obviously, the solid state. The next question is, show how the particles are arranged in the following. You remember we had boxes and you were supposed to draw. The solid, the liquid, we had we have solid, liquid, and that. What do we observe? We observe that the Atoms or the particles of the solid, they are regularly arranged. Meanwhile, the particles of a liquid, they are not regularly arranged. And, and therefore, we said solid have what? A fixed shape and a fixed volume. And we have liquid, which we have seen that the particles are free to exchange their position with their neighbors. And they have only a fixed volume, but they don't have a fixed shape. Example, water there. And for gases, you are seeing that the particles are arranged further apart from each other. You got one particle, one. At any instant, this particle up can be down, and so on. They exchange a position. They move randomly because they have what? High kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by objects due to their motion. So gases, they have high kinetic energy. The next question, use the diagram below to answer the following questions on change of state. We have a diagram, and the task was to identify X, R, S, and T. We have the particles here which are well arranged, they are regularly arranged, and they have 
a fixed shape and a fixed volume. So S here is solid, as you can see. And that's why here we have a water, which is a liquid, and steam, which is a gas. So here we have solid, in which we can say it is ice, because here we have water. So there is ice, solid. There's an arrow. We, we have that our eyes. And we want to change our eyes to water. And we saw that changing from solid to liquid, that is from ice to liquid water. This process is called the melting. So process R is melting. S, which is the reverse now, you have the liquid water, you want to change it back to the ice. This process is called freezing, or what we also call solidification. The first process occurs by heating. Meanwhile, the one down occurs by cooling. Very important to note it. The next one that they have asked us to identify is steam. Changing from the water to gas. It is called what? That is changing from gas instead of steam to water. It is called condensation or liquefaction. Question 11. Give the difference between boiling and evaporation. We saw it. Boiling occurs at a fixed temperature. Evaporation occurs at all temperature. During boiling, we have bubbles that are formed. Evaporation, no bubbles are formed. Boiling takes place throughout the substance. Meanwhile, liquid takes place at the surface. It's a surface phenomenon. Next one, it is a quick process that is boiling. Meanwhile, evaporation is a slow process. The difference between B, gas, and liquid. The in gas, the particles are very far apart. Meanwhile, in liquid, the particles are not too far apart. In gases, the particles are held by weak forces. That's the particles are held by very weak forces even. Meanwhile, in liquid, the particles are held by weak forces. So here it is very weak. In gases, the particles can be compressed. Meanwhile, in liquid, they cannot be easily compressed. Question 12, state the kinetic theory of matter. Matter is made up of tiny particles, which can be what? Atoms, molecules, or ions. This particle has space between them. The particle attract each other. The particle are constantly moving. Question 13, how do you do to convert ice to liquid and then to vapor. Describe the chain. When you want to convert ice to liquid, you need to supply heat. And this process is called a physical change because it is still water. The life situation, let us revisit our life situation, which was Mary, a Form 1 student, was asked to cook jello rice after school. She had to use grind tomato and make and meat that had been kept in a freezer over a weekend. What do you advise Mary to do so as to get the tomato and the meat ready for cooking? And the second task during the cooking of jealous rice, different substances in the pot exist and in different forms. Some are interconvertible. Bring out the different forms and changes and explain them using the kinetic, the knowledge of this topic. And that is action of heat on substances. Answer to this life situation. Tomato and meat from the freezer are frozen. That is, are in the solid state. To get them ready for cooking, she needs to defreeze or to defrost them. This is the process of melting, which is a change of state from solid to liquid, which requires heat. This is done by removing the, them from the freezer and keeping them at room temperature in our environment for some time, so that it absorbs heat from the environment so that it can melt. Question two, we have the different state. Media is in the solid state, Water, the liquid state, soda we put inside the, the solid state, 
Rice, solid state. Tomatoes, mixtures of solid and liquid. Steam, a gas. When meat, rice, and tomatoes are cooked, they change into different substances, which is differently and cannot be reversed. Salt, simply dissolve in water. Liquid water boils to steam, which is a physical change. Cooking of rice, meat, and tomato, therefore, it is a chemical change. Recall, in this subtopic, we saw the state of matter, liquid, solid, and gases. Matter can undergo two types of changes, which are physical and chemical changes. The simple kinetic theory of matter explains the state of matter, the change that the different state of matter can undergo. The difference between this state of matter, they can be interconvertible, either by heat gain or by heat loss. The kinetic theory, and we saw all the postulates of the kinetic theory. As assignment, matter can be pure or a mixture. Least common example of pure substances and mixtures. The information presented to you was obtained from your prescribed textbooks, that is mastering chemistry, and also ordinary level chemistry for common school. Some of the informations were also obtained from the internet. We have come to the end of this subtopic, that is action of heat on substances. Our next subtopic will be on simple classification of substances. Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia ninya ne injo bia yen 